problem that Democrats are articulating is that it wasn't just that he had a cold, but rather he had answers. He was trailing off. He didn't answer some questions in a sort of fulsome way. And speaking of Nancy Pelosi, one of the things that she recently said was that it was a legitimate question whether his performance was an episode or a condition. So I guess I wonder if there's been any consideration given to, like, releasing a more robust set of medical records or something to show his mental acuity. So I will say this. Look, and again, I get the question. It is a fair question to ask. We are not taking that away, and that's why the president certainly has spoken to this. As it relates to his medical records, we have been transparent. We have released thorough reports from his medical team every year since he's been in office. That is something that we have been pretty consistent about. As it relates to, you know, something like a cognitive test, to the question that you're asking me about what the speaker, former speaker said, obviously she can speak for herself. His team has said, the medical team said, it is not warranted in this case. We have put forward a thorough, transparent annual report on his health. So they have said that is not warranted. It is not necessary. Again, we understand. We understand. We're not taking away from what you all saw or what the American people saw. We understand. It was a bad night. It is not uncommon for incumbents to have a bad night on their first debate. And we are going to continue to do the work that we have been doing on behalf of the American people. I think the president's record certainly speaks for itself.